お待たせいたしましたそれではここ。
Uh, Japanese dishes are low in calorific values. So for uh, the health of uh, the people of the world, I believe that uh, the balance uh, in uh, ingredients and nutrition uh, is uh, what we need to keep. So what should be preserved are traditions and what can be innovated. Um, something that is uh, inscribed as a cultural heritage seems to mean that uh, the that particular culture is now being threatened uh, for extinction and for the people in the world we have uh, committed to the rest of the world that we are going to keep this tradition of Japanese cuisine and uh, hand over this tradition to the future. And uh, what we need to do to keep this tradition is what we now have to do as a promise we made to the rest of the world and to UNESCO. It seems that the world is watching how Japanese cuisine is going to change or is going to be preserved. Uh, now there are 56,000 Japanese uh, cuisine restaurants around the world, I hear, and 99% of them are run by non-Japanese owners and chefs. Yes, indeed, because they are around the world. And only 1% or less are the Japanese cuisine restaurants where there are Japanese chefs. So all around the world, uh, non-Japanese people uh, make and cook Japanese cuisine. And uh, now, Mr. Dukas, I have a question to you. Uh, what is your impression of having heard what Mr. Murata said? What do you think should be kept about the Japanese cuisine, and what should change or be innovated? Uh, first, what is authentic, I think, needs to be kept about Japanese cuisine. Uh, Japanese cuisine, washoku, consists of different elements and ingredients brought about from many parts of the world. Uh, leading chef Mikuni and uh, Murata and the young chef. In the past 10 years, uh, there have been uh, many uh, innovations uh, in the field of uh, Japanese cuisine. Uh, French cuisine uh, also has a long-standing tradition. And just like Japanese cuisine, how to make and how to choose ingredients and to what extent those dishes have to be perfected, I think is a very important part. Uh, but to incorporate the sense of four seasons, and how to prepare, how to cook. Those uh, cooking and preparation techniques are added, and there might be some uh, commonalities between Japanese and French uh, cooking techniques, preparation techniques. But in many ways, uh, in Japan, there are very interesting local uh, cooking, and the same goes for France. And uh, every day we have to eat to live. And uh, we, sh I think, are able to exchange ideas and opinions with each other around the world. And I think those uh, cooking or cuisine it needs to be relevant for the contemporary society. Um, uh, on the other hand, we shouldn't uh, change so often like zapping on the internet. Uh, that means we have to change the tradition, but the tradition itself changes over time. As I saw yesterday, young chefs from all around the world uh, may not know the basics of Japanese cuisine. Uh, if you do not know the basics uh, of a particular area of art, be it music or be it uh, cooking, uh, it's not good. So taking time, uh, young chefs need to be educated and trained uh, in the basics of 
the Japanese cuisine. And that goes also for French cuisine. All around the world, there are many kinds of、uh, cooking and cuisine. And what I said about Japanese cuisine is also true for French cuisine. And we need to come to know、uh, kind, of kind of ingredients and techniques we haven't known before.、Uh, right, I do not know the basics.、Uh, I often use the instant dashi broth rather than preparing、uh, dashi myself.、Uh, Mr. Dukas, what do you like about washoku Japanese、uh, cuisine? Well, first, Uh, uh, the strict selection of ingredients and also the sense of four seasons are reflected in ingredients you choose, and also tableware and the balance between the tableware used and uh, 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 food prepared and、uh, presented on、uh, the tableware, and also a harmony. As I saw yesterday in the competition, Uh, there should be a good flavor, taste. If it may look beautiful, it is presented beautifully. If the taste is not perfected, it is not a good dish. So, a minute care is necessary and a long standing experience is necessary、uh, to perfect ourselves、uh, in. Japanese cuisine in just a matter of a few weeks is impossible. We need to know and learn the basics of washoku. The same goes for French cuisine. If your basics are solid,、uh, you can have a good impact on other kinds of、uh, dishes,、uh, for instance, desserts, sweets. Uh, less and less、uh, sugars are contained today. So, in that sense, That's a healthy food for everyone and can be exported. So, listening to what Mr. Dukas indicated, any feelings, Mr. Murata? Basically, I think our perceptions and understanding are the same amongst all the chefs universally. I'm not fluent in French, so it's very difficult to have the thorough communication with Alan. But、uh, we come across so frequently. Mr. Dukas, thoughts. And Japanese chefs' thoughts are common and basically the same. That's what I feel. That's what I feel from day to day. So, amongst all the chefs of the world, We are contributing to the health of the people, respect for the raw materials. That's how we work for. So, to the world, umami of the Japanese dishes. I believe、uh, you talked about umami yesterday. In the world, umami is now becoming a common language. Some time ago, a sweetness, bitterness, saltness, and sourness, those are the four tastes of the food traditionally. But we did have the fifth one, which is umami, which arose from Japan. In 2000, there was the receptor. Found. And umami, ever since then, as a culture, was disseminated to the world. Japan is the only country which h a v e developed umami as the feature. No calorie attached to umami, which is a very important feature. Because of that, the total calorific content of washoku is very low. But kombu and katsuo. You get、uh, glutamic acid and inosic acid from katsuo, and you get dashi, bouillon. And for katsuo, bushi, and、uh, kombu, without them, as long as we are able to get glutamic acid and inosic acid, we are able to extract those acids from the other sources by developing those acids, non calorific. Content, dashi, like 
food can be available. For example, tomatoes full of glutamic acid. So for me, whenever I try to get uh, dashi, I use dried tomatoes and also the uh, white meat of chicken, glutamic acid. Tomatoes and chickens are available wherever you go in the world. You get dashi. With this, you are able to cook Japanese food where there was no availability of such some time ago. You are able to enjoy and extract good dashi out of those sources. That's wonderful. You are making a lot of researches. Wherever you are in the world, you will be able to get umami. That's right. And in the pan, there is the chemical reaction and soy sauce and miso can be created in the pan, even if I am in the foreign country. Mr. Dukas, Japanese culinaries and food are trying to catch up with the French cuisines. Between Japanese and French cuisine, is there any similarity or is there any complete difference or any recommendation for us to make a change or innovation? or any concurrence with the Japanese food? I have a lot of questions to ask. I believe French and Japanese food are complementary, not competitive in the relationship. For us, living in two countries, we are complementary. French people do not know much about Japanese food and cuisines. At the same time, there are local Japanese food, a lot of them. There are different types of the cuisines. Seasonings and the tastes are different from locality to locality. In France, there has not been much change in the French cuisine, people say. But in the past 50 years, that kind of notion has changed. The knowledge enjoyed by the chefs are becoming changed. They are trying to feature their characteristics put into their dishes. Things which are not prepared by the other chefs is something they want to give a try. So French cuisine, you might think is very difficult to prepare. And there are several grand chefs in order to understand what they are trying to do. You might think that uh, there is the difficulties involved. But what about the Japanese cuisines? Japanese dishes or cuisines can be enjoyed by many people in general. For example, when you prepare the Japanese cuisines, behaviors and actions of the chefs, that's also important. <laughs> and the features created are different from chef to chef. And of course, washoku prepared by them consists of different levels. Not starting from the very lowest level, but Exported washoku had better uh, to be started from the relatively higher level in quality. And in price wise, the cut has to be also reasonable, be it the raw materials and dishes themselves. So between French and Japanese, we are taking the leadership in the world. Yes, Mr. Murata, what do you think? Yes, he took the words out of my mouth. In the past 10 years, French cuisine has completely changed. 
new types of the chefs emerged with a new style of culinary preparation. They are giving the new trials. And probably they are not going to deny any traditional cuisines, but there will be the fusion between new and old cuisines. What about the Japanese cuisine? French cuisine is running 50 or 60 years ahead of us, and Japanese cuisines are now following the suit in terms of the experiences of the food. Yes, indeed, I agree. We were pretty quick. We started out rather fast. In case of Japanese cuisine, I have to say there was a uh, time that the world is not open to them. When you go to the grand restaurants in Kyoto, I believe those names are becoming known to many people just recently. I think you need to regain the lost time. We do have the wonderful restaurants in Japan, which prepare the wonderful dishes. But few people know in the world about this fact. Mr. Duca's restaurant is known to everybody in the world. But uh, our restaurant, Kikunoi, was not known to the people in the world universally. So we are still in the development stage. We hope that we'll be able to put that on the right track to be recognized as the universal dish. As the primary industry of Japan, we hope that we will be able to give the support to expand the export from Japan <laughs> on behalf of the Ministry of Agriculture and Apple Polishing. Indeed, I think Mr. Okuda is here. The difficulty is how wonderful Japanese dishes are. That has to be communicated, but it is very difficult to communicate. Wonderful ingredients and raw materials have to be utilized, which are only available in the Japanese land. And those have to be accepted by the ordinary French people if it is exported to them. And they have to understand the quality of the Japanese cuisine. Mr. Okuda, just like you do, you use in Tokyo, you need to utilize the good quality ingredients, but it's very difficult to obtain that in France. French people have uh, are difficult people and in the sense that uh, they do have uh, the uh, very high level of connoisseur type of the appreciation of the food. So when you come to uh, France, you try to provide uh, the similar ingredients you use in Japan, but probably we need to give the support and try to have the mutual cooperation here. Thank you very much. Okuda-san was uh, mentioned by him. It's a restaurant called Hoju in Tokyo, and uh, Mr. Okuda there opened up a Japanese restaurant very close to Plaza Aten. I think it's been less than a year since then, and the world is watching carefully about what's happening. Yes, he's here with us. He will be on stage later. We should be looking forward to you.
what he's going to say. I think we have lots of lots of things to say. We only have uh, limited time, but we have two more topics to cover. So what are the ingredients that you are watching carefully? In Japan, there are some ingredients only available in a certain parts of Japan. Are there any particular materials, uh, dishes, or ingredients that you are very much interested in at the moment? Well, you may make everyone happy if I say this. <laughs> Whatever you, uh, you think is fine. Well, at the moment, I don't think good Japanese gradients are exported uh, elsewhere at this point. Japanese fish and Japanese uh, meat, I think they are of very good quality. And the thing is, how can we export this to the rest of the world? When we open up a restaurant overseas, if we don't get ingredients, the good ones, we won't be able to provide washoku at a reasonable quality. In Europe, wagyu is already available. When it comes to the marketing, it's important that we know more about the Europeans. Even if the Japanese think a particular beef is good, that doesn't mean that the French would agree. The, what they prefer may be different between Japanese and French people. So I think we need to do some coordination, adjustment, assimilation when we export our ingredients, and we, all, we want to make them available locally. Beef, marbled beef, do you French like this? Maybe they consider it to be fatty. Yes, that's true. It's too oily and fatty. So the medium type of fat is preferred. A too much fat is not much preferred. Also, we also have French cows, cattle, and those cattle are raised differently depending on where they are raised. And those uh, with different locality and different way of uh, nurturing, the taste of the beef will be different. Sometimes uh, you want a thicker taste, or that I particularly like a cuddle from Normandy. It's uh, very strong in taste, and it's very juicy. Perhaps compared to Japanese cuddle, I would say the Normandy cuddle is uh, better. A more lean, less fatty, a beef perhaps uh, would be a better choice for an exporting product from Japan. Of course, cross-cultural aspect is also important. We need to share knowledge. For example, sake matches well with washoku. Uh, however, France and Japan, we all need to spend more time, it may take more time, uh, to listen to each other and promote better understanding. Uh, Mr. Dukas, among uh, Japanese ingredients uh, or Japanese particular dishes that you like, do you have any particular ingredient, a particular dish you like in Washoku? Well, I only have a f I couldn't say just a few because there are so many. In every season, I have a particular favorite dishes. I like something with from the sea, like sea urchin. Some sea urchins are really of high quality. A different stereo would provide a different flavor and aroma. 
largeur de gamme des goûts des oursins que vous pouvez trouver ici, que, que vous pouvez pêcher ici. Nous so, n'avons pas cette attention particulière sur les produits aussi different uh, sea urchin sites uh, would provide different flavor and you can uh, really make all uh, those different uh, possibilities uh, between Japanese and French uh, the way they approach fish I think is different and the message is different so I think we all need to understand this and the pricing should also be acknowledged. The price of fish is different and people in Japan, I can spend more time and more money on fish, which is not the case among the French, and it may take more time. We need to understand each other better. And to see the, the background as to why the price is so high, I think we need to promote more exchanges. So the price is high, as he said. <laughs> it is high, isn't it? It's expensive. Well, yes. Isn't it expensive? Particularly kaiseki. If you buy wagyu in France, it's 20,000 yen per kilo. Uh, Mr. Sasek was saying this. 20,000 per kilo is expensive. Uh, Mr. Sasaki, the owner of Sasaki, is smiling in the audience. The question how we can make that available and accessible, I think we need to have better ideas of uh, promoting this. Is it the washoku that comes first, or is it the ingredients uh, being marketed first? Is it the chicken and egg thing? They have to go hand in hand. Therefore, for each country, we need to have a good approach. We go to the world to make sure that every country can provide a good Japanese food. We need to develop human resources. We need to develop people with courage to go overseas and we need to provide them with the support and assistance. Young people seem to be more interested in producing washoku, do you think, after this uh, registration of cultural her heritage? In our restaurant, we have a French boy at the age of 20. Yesterday, well, he actually talked to Mr. Dukas. And for that young boy, he is like a godly figure. And when did you talk to him, to that young man? He is from Cognac, and and uh, his father had a restaurant with the Michelin star. He is now uh, being trained at under uh, Mr. Murata, I understand he's going to New York after this. So he's going to train himself with the Japanese as well as American cuisine. With those two ex types of experiences, I believe that he can develop a new talent. This young man, I think it's wonderful that he can share different knowledge and I think he also is enjoying through his career the experience in Japan, I'm sure, will be very precious and he will inherit this knowledge. I know, uh, 
so uh, people from different countries are learning Japanese cooking, then I think uh, Japanese cooking can spread more faster around the world. Uh, Mr. Mayor of uh, Kyoto uh, has been very active uh, for about two years. Those uh, people from abroad are able to learn how to cook Japanese cuisine here in Kyoto. Um, and uh, they are uh, given a lot of funding. And uh, we also learn academy of uh, Japanese cooking, and I hope there will be uh, many more young people from around the world who come uh, to Kyoto uh, to learn how to cook Japanese food. How many uh, non-Japanese uh, chefs are learning in your academy today? Uh, that young man I just talked about has been with us for about uh, over one year. And uh, um, uh, there is an American chef who had been with us for eight years. He now works as a sushi chef uh, in Tokyo. And another Korean chef uh, studied how to make uh, for about eight years uh, at our academy. And on a shorter term basis, uh, one month, two month period, there are lots of uh, young chefs uh, coming from other countries, such as United States. When they learn how to make uh, washoku, what is the area they are most interested in? Uh, when they become a senior chef, they uh, learn deeply about umami and the dashi broth more seriously. And those uh, beginner chefs uh, like to learn techniques, how to use uh, Japanese knives, hocho, the cutting techniques, uh, how to peel uh, the skins, or how to prepare fish or cut fish. So at the stage of uh, learning development, uh, they are interested in different elements of uh, Japanese cuisine. Uh, but certainly, uh, there are a lot of uh, young chefs um, from around the world who want to know Japanese uh, cuisine uh, at their stage of career. The, the third thing we have is the potential of washoku going global. That is the last thing that we would like to discuss here together. Uh, Mr. Murata, uh, at what speed do you think washoku will spread around the world? Uh, in the future, there will be a solid educational institution and a good book uh, on uh, Japanese cuisine available. And uh, when a Japanese chef uh, uh, go to other countries to train and educate, uh, then a great chef, a grand chef like Alan Dukas would help us indeed uh, in different countries. So I'm sure that the washoku will become our international cuisine in the future. Recently, when you, we watch Hollywood movies, usually uh, the main characters, a young man and woman, uh, were eating uh, uh, French. Uh, but I saw a uh, films where those uh, uh, um, uh, uh, they are eating in uh, a Japanese restaurant. Yeah, I, I often do the same. And, uh, and about the chopsticks, the use of chopsticks, the uh, governor uh, was surprised uh, at the skillful use of chopsticks. In the movie, I saw the young man and the woman uh, 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 try to uh, uh, cut uh, the uh, uh, chopsticks into half, and uh, they were rubbing uh, the two uh, uh, sticks together um, uh, to make the surface smooth. It seems a bit um, uh, impolite, and I think uh, there should be some good manners in the way uh, we uh, use the chopsticks or in the way we eat a Japanese. Uh, dinner, what do you think? Uh, I think uh, there are a lot of uh, foreigners who are better uh, in uh, manners. Yes, the Japanese uh, ban manners are worsening when it comes to eating. And I think um, um, the Japanese are now facing a difficulty uh, in keeping good manners of eating. And that means that we have to educate young people. And uh, uh, like France, when children are small, in a primary school, uh, Japanese uh, uh, children should learn how to eat properly. Uh, and there is such an important need uh, for Japanese children uh, to learn how to eat uh, with a good manners. That 
It's a basic skill. They need to learn uh, to become an appropriate person and adult, and that needs to be educated when they are small. To make washoku spread around the world, then that means uh, the culture that goes with washoku, such as Japanese tableware and other cultural elements, may also go global, right? Yes, of course. To spread Japanese cuisine around the world means to spread Japanese traditions, traditional cultures more around the world, and that is really important for people around the world to understand the Japan and Japanese people. Washoku is a very comprehensive, holistic piece of art. And uh, eating or food is not just about food. That comes with all the cultural elements which is behind uh, food. And I hope that Japanese uh, government would understand this. Uh, we are, uh, the uh, restaurant is uh, governed by a kind of uh, entertainment um, uh, industry. Um, so our profile needs to be upgraded. Uh, Mr. Alan Dukas, you have been also very active in trying to disseminate washoku around the world. Uh, what do you think can be done in order to disseminate washoku more around the world? Any ideas? Uh, well, uh, politicians, I sh believe that they should be here to listen to a discussion. Uh, those uh, politicians are already gone, unfortunately. So what we are doing, I hope, will become successful with the efforts by Mikuni, Sasaki, and Murata. We have been working on an individual basis. We have to run our boutique and contribution more appropriately, I believe. Yeah. Yes, politicians never watch those programs on TV. Well, let me continue. Attitudes and approach to Washoku is something which has a very special feature. When you go to a Japanese restaurant, it is as if you go into the Japanese world. Your behavior, your actions need to become more Japanese-like. And when you welcome the guests, we have to have the Japanese hospitality. That kind of environment and situation have to be appreciated wherever you are. Going into the Japanese restaurant is going into the Japanese culture, going to the world of Japan. Before you enjoy the dishes, please think about going into the Japanese culture. When you go to sushi bar, you know that you are going to have sushi, but your approach, your attitude has to be as if you go into the Japanese world and Japanese culture, not only in the Japanese education, but also in those educations of the other countries. You have to have the capacity. You have to have such curiosity and also culinary dishes and food, those are something through which you are able to understand many other things. You try to demonstrate your own world. And for us French, the taste and preference of Japan of Japanese people. There are so many things which exported from Japan to France. Maybe this might be the tentative phenomena, but when you go to the French restaurant for the very peri uh, limited period, Ministre français, ministre japonais doivent se parler parce qu'il y a beaucoup de barrières de douane 
You can enjoy the ingredients and, and materials from Japan. And of course, there's always the customs and tax issues between the two countries. Sometimes that kind of issue hampers us to have the better communication. Agricultural economy of France should never give the damage on the Japanese agricultural economy. Things you think uh, your things are excellent, and you need to communicate those excellence, but that has to be on the equal basis, and we need to preserve our features as well. I believe, Mr. Murata, you are smiling. Yes, uh, because uh, Mr. Dukas said that, I believe the politicians are gone. They are coming back. No, they are coming back. So, yeah, you think uh, you'll be able to contribute to that, man. Mr. Ducasse is laughing. <laughs> Mr. Murata, what kind of contribution do you think you'll be able to make to the world? First, low calorie content, delicious food is something everybody can appreciate. Japanese cuisine is considered to be the ordinary uh, food for Japanese, but this is quite unique for the other people. Dash does not have any calorific content, oil, nine kilocalories. And by adding umami on dashi, you will be able to lessen the oil used. And in the human brain, stimulus uh, which can give the stimuli uh, to the uh, pleasure receptor, the oil, sugar, and dopamine is generated in the brain. So those uh, world cuisines utilize those different features. But in the Japanese cuisine, we never use oil. Focusing on umami, I believe uh, this is quite rare amongst all the different dishes. Preparation techniques and culinary cooking ways, if they can be disseminated in the world, I think the human beings can enjoy more healthy food. So for the Japanese uh, dishes, take an example of a uh, bonito. Uh, there are bonitos uh, which come in the different seasons. Usually it's in the summertime, but sometimes uh, there is the returning bonito in the wintertime. Not only raw katsuo bonito, but also dried uh, katsuo is not obtained. Probably you should uh, tell uh, Mr. Ducasse, so dried bonito katsuo can be utilized in France as well. I think it is now time to close this meeting. Mr. Ducasse, the last comment, please. Indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, healthy food. Things which are natural. Take an example of beef. Yeah, the fat content is very good in quality. <laughs> but you don't have to add any more oil to the beef. Seriously, French cuisine for today and tomorrow will reduce the oil content, fat content, consume more starch and grains and seasonal vegetables and enjoy animal protein. 
from those sources. In case of Japan, marine food sources are getting scarce nearby. Sustainable ingredients and raw materials should be utilized and uh, to fill our stomach. We have to be very cautious in using those ingredients and materials. We hope to share those knowledge amongst us. Cereals, grains, and fat part. Those are very common. We can share our knowledge. In the case of Japanese cuisine, you go far away in the ocean to catch fish. Probably you need to have the bit of control over the catch. Thank you indeed very much. Uh, there are so many things I would like to ask you. I was uh, watching Mr. Dukas. I believe Mr. Dukas was having the eye contact with the senior vice minister. Now it is time to close this meeting. I hope we will be able to have another opportunity to have this kind of session. Executive producer, the head of Kikunoi, Mr. Murata, and Ambas food ambassador, Mr. Dukas, who are the families. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy.